Port Byron, Illinois is a lovely little river town right along the Mississippi north of the Quad Cities. And it is host to one of the more unique events I've ever heard of, Tugfest. To learn a little bit more about this event and to try some amazing food, I'm stopping by Tuggers. Derek, this is a lot of food that you put out in front of us. This is this is a lot of what you got going on here, but it looks all lots of bright colors, lots of fresh looking flavors, I'm sure. I'm gonna jump into this guy. What is this? All this right. is Looks like an egg roll, but I'm guessing there's more to it. There is a lot to it. A couple years ago, we were putting something on the menu for an appetizer, and I came up with cheeseburger egg rolls. Cheeseburger egg rolls? Cheeseburger egg rolls. All right. So, handmade here every day. I mean, we have a guy that is almost an expert egg roll <laughs> wrapper right now. He's doing well. But it is everything that you would put on a cheeseburger tray, mm -hmm. including the tater tots in there. There's tots in here. There's tots in the egg roll, yep. Oh man, let me grab some of this garnish. And we got a little slaw right under there. It's like a, it's like the there. El Top slaw, so lettuce, pickle, onion, tomato. Okay. And then our HLS sauce. A lot of restaurants have that comeback sauce, that, that sauce that brings you back. Mm -hmm. This is our hook, line, and sinker sauce. <laughs> we got you hook, line, and sinker with that sauce because it's it's our house-made sinker sauce, so it's good. The house-made sinker sauce. So yeah, we're, we're here in downtown Port Bryant, Byron. Tell me a little bit about Tuggers. What are you, what's, uh, I mean, clearly you're doing things a little bit different here. Uh, Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your menu. We're, we're right here on the, on the river. Um, we have our own docks and slips, so we can come in and get a nice casual atmosphere, mm -hmm. burger, great food, kind of high, higher quality burger food than you're going to get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, nice bar, all handcrafted cocktails. Everything we do is, again, try to be fresh, keep a couple things on here that nobody else does. Sure. We try to, everything I make with the chef is, I tell him to make it Tugger style, so, <laughs> make so it, we're, uh, we're make it above and style. beyond. I mean, you're even drinking a Tugfest style beer there. We're doing our yeah. H3O yeah. buckets of beer this weekend. Yeah, what are, you, what, what are you, $7 for this massive thing? For a 32 ounce plastic, walk around the- Just walking around. Tugfest with that baby. It's hard to get a koozie on it, but- You can't, I, get... I hope you drink it fast <laughs> enough. Mm. Yeah, what beer was this in This here? is our Tuggers H3O. It's our house pour beer. And so this is your house beer, uh, house beer yep. specifically for you guys. Uh, where are you brewing it out of? Uh, we get it out of um, Capital Brewing, M mm. Middleton, Wisconsin. So right up there by Madison. Yeah, they they do wonderful contract work. This is a fantastic beer. This yep. is this egg roll is very different. This is exactly what you want from an egg roll. It's got that nice crunch, the slaw kind of mixture that you got working yep. on here. And you're right, that sauce is is bang on. Yep. And the filling with the with the hamburger and the And those are on our normal menu too. And this is an all the time. Yep, we do, <clears throat> once in a Excellent. while we'll do breakfast brunches on the main, ma major holidays. Yeah. And we've featured an egg roll with breakfast everything in it, so. We do a little bit of everything. Everything breakfast yep. egg roll. That yep. sounds fantastic. Now you're jumping into our fish tacos. Fish tacos. All black right. and fish or black and cod. To order. We don't make anything ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So it, sometimes it might take a while to get it all, but we get it to you. It's got a great mango pineapple kind of relish on there. Pico. Mm -hmm. Served with our seasoned fries. Normally we have our seasoned fries come with uh, house made seasoning. On that, we do a lime dusted, so we, it's a little bit of that tahine seasoning that Ooh. you can find in the grocery yeah. store. Yeah, I mean, adds to the freshness of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you got yep. it. I love this blackened cod. It, it has so much flavor to it. Yep. That just a little bit of cooking is just, it brings so much out of it. And one the, of our number one sellers, But for the sure. fish is still wonderfully moist and tender. Yep, for a burger bar and ale house, that's one of the bigger sellers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, being on the water, people want to have that fish taco. Yeah, there's just something about being on the water, looking out on the river, it kind of makes you want to have a fish taco. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there are so, I mean, we only serve two to an order, so it's not over. Mm -hmm. You can still get it for a lunch if we're open on a Saturday or Sunday and go about your day. Mm. Okay. We always have the option that you can add an extra taco for three dollars, so we can we can bump it up if you want just to. Just bump up, you know what? Just throw an extra taco on. Yep. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Yep. What do we got here? All right, so this is our giant bacon cheesy. Giant bake and cheesy. Bake and cheesy, yeah. So we uh, we put this on the menu this year, and then in oh, June, geez. Chef wanted to put a bacon, a big bacon burger on there. This is so well, that's all it is. It's spilling out all so, <laughs> over the place. So here. what's spilling out of that is our bacon butter. We make a house made compound butter with bacon, and we put a big ice cream scoop of that on there right before it leaves the kitchen. Mm. So it's got bacon everywhere. Chef wanted out on the menu because he said his, his chef buddies that were coming here just wanted a bacon cheeseburger. So we 
And again, to make it Tuggers, we threw that bacon butter on there. He said, everybody I know that's in the food industry, what they really want is a nice, solid bacon cheeseburger. And you guys said, let's take it up a notch. Let's make it absolutely gigantic. Let's have it just falling out with bacon. And the bacon butter is, is excellent yep. on here. Wow. Please consult your physician if yeah, you're doing you that, please. Wanna, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm that not gonna, with the beer probably pretty good, huh? I'm not even gonna lie. I love drinking out of you know abnormal receptacles for beer. This is this is one of my favorites. It's, it's just uh, I feel like I'm on Gary the Giant or yeah. something like that. This it's is an, incredible. It's a deli container. That's what the kitchens use to put all their prep in. And if you see any TV show in a kitchen, guys drinking, they're usually drinking out of a deli container. Just drinking out of a deli so container. So that's what we passed it on to the customer this time. Just having fun. Okay, what do we got here? This all right. looks absolutely stacked. Well, I don't know if you had enough bacon, but you're gonna get some more. I can, I can always fit more bacon. bacon. All right, so this is our. I'm not gonna say our, I need more bacon, but this is our Tugfest featured uh, lighter style sandwich. This lighter is, style? This is the ABLT. <laughs> okay. So it's a normal BLT with a little avocado mayonnaise. So mm. and we uh, put on the side there some kettle chips and house made French onion dip. Yeah, it's a fantastic. You know, this isn't revolutionary. No, it's no. A, but this is exactly what you want. It's solid, it's crispy bacon, it's creamy avocado, and the light and freshness of the tomato and the lettuce really work in it. Perfect. So we're talking about Tugfest. Tugfest yeah. uh, is happening this weekend. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, Tugfest is just a, a tug of war that they do across the Mississippi River. What do you mean across the river, Mississippi so River? So from Port Byron to LeClaire, they stretch a giant rope, and then they have 20-man teams tug on this rope. Hold on, so they actually stretch a rope. So they're not like going from one side to the other. No, it's two on both sides of the river. Yep. Illinois and Iowa. Yep, only time of the year that they shut down the river for three hours. They shut down the entire river. Corps of Engineers shuts the river down, yep. Really? Yep. That is absolutely insane. And yep, it's fun. So, oh, so just big tug of war across the across yep. the river. Each side of the river has their own carnival and festival, food, food vendors, rides for the kids. All kinds of stuff, and then the tug of war. And then a tug of war. That's tomorrow or Saturday at noon. That is. And then they just have fun. What do we got here? This is this is really tasty. What That's is this our, guy? That's uh, our signature cocktail for Tugfest week. You know when you're walking down the carnival, they call it the Midway. Mm -hmm. So this is my Midway Crush. Your Midway Crush. Citrus vodka, house made cherry limeade. Mm -hmm. a little splash of Seven Up. Served in a plastic cup. Walk around with it all day long. It's nice, easy, breezy, and it's refreshing. Yep. It has a wonderful, that lime flavor, that cherry lime flavor is fantastic. This is exactly what you want. It's, you know, we're in August, things are getting heated up yep. a little bit still. So let's cool yourself down with this guy. Yep. Mm. And I got plenty if the kids want a little bit. I got I got some <laughs> extra cherry limeade laying around. You got some extra cherry limeade. All right, let's, let's finish this guy out. What do we have here? All right, now you're sliding into our Fresh salad for the Tugfest weekend. Fresh salad. It's our chicken on the cob. Chicken, a lot of, lot so, of corn on here, yeah, huh? Yeah, grilled chicken, charred corn, scallions, you know, a little tomato, a little and tomato. then a house-made cilantro ranch. Yeah, it's, it's got big flavors, it's got a lot of brightness, and just a lot of wonderful, wonderful flavors. You know, tell me a little bit about Port Byron. You know, we are right along the Mississippi. Uh, tell me a little bit about the community here. So the Port Byron community is really nice. Um, down home folks. Uh, down here on the river, we get a lot of boat traffic, obviously. So people associate us with a lot of maybe spring, summertime for sure. Mm -hmm. Some fall boat traffic, but as soon as that boat traffic stops, don't stop coming here. We're open mm -hmm. all year long. We wrap our patio in plastic and to put some heaters out there and keep You're it going open. all year long. Yep. That's awesome. Being a part of the community, being part of the river life, yep. that's something I love. Also, I'm loving this salad. It's bright, it's fresh, it's fantastic. And that goes for pretty much all the dishes that you put out in front of me. Uh, I really enjoy just, uh, uh, A, it's got a lot of variety, but a lot of classic flavors that are done extremely well. Thank you, appreciate that. Oh, Derek, thanks for having us in. You bet, thanks for copping in.